Hey everyone, just wanted to share the updated version of my Binary 2 7 segment decoder. I've programmed the PIC16F 628A to function like the obsolete DM9368. Uh, the obsolete DM9368 has uh, latch enable and comes with ripple blanking inputs and outputs. A ripple blanking um, is used to disable or enable the visibility of the digit zero in a cascading display arrangement like a calculator for example uh, so you can hide the zeros. Um, my version also has a test lamp input and the ability to uh, select between a common anode or a common cathode display so it displays all the hexadecimal digits from 0 to 9 and then the alpha from A to F. Uh, this is just a schematic of what I've got. So I've got a PIC 16F628 A like I said. Um, port A, bit 0 to 3 are the binary inputs. Um, port A bit 4 and 5 are used for latch enable and the test lamp enable. Uh, bits 6 and 7 on port A are used for the ripple blanking input and output. Port B, bits 1 to 7 are used for the 7 segments of the display. And bit 0 on port B is used to select between a common cathode or a common anode. Um, back to these inputs. For normal operation they should be tied to 5 volts because they are active low so to activate the function they should be taken to ground so in normal operation tie them to VCC and for a common anode display this should be also be tied to ground if it's for a common cathode tie it to 5 volts as well so if you've got a common cathode display for normal operation tie these three inputs to 5 volts. Back to the circuit. I've just got a keypad interface up here which will give me a binary number which is inputted into my programmed decoder. I'm also using the push on push off function of the keypad interface for ripple blanking input and this LED here represents the ripple blanking output. So if I put a zero on the input lines and the ripple blanking input is high, zero will be displayed. But as soon as I clear that, a zero is hidden. But all the other digits will still be able to be displayed. Um, I'll give you an example of the other functions. This one is the latch. So I've got these resistors here um, on the 5 volt rail and I'm just taking them to ground. So this will be latched. If I change the binary input, the output isn't affected. But as soon as I say I'll put a 1 on the input lines, as soon as I take that back to 5 volts, it'll display whatever's on the input. Um, test lamp, if I set it, it simply sets all the bits on port B, which displays every segment, and as soon as I clear it, it goes back. Uh, I haven't got a common anode display, but when I clear this, the segments will just reverse. So on a common anode display, that will display a 1, and common cathode, like this one is, one will be displayed. Um, that's about it. I'll just um, I'll post all the notes on my website as well as um, a truth table. Um, get that from the more info section. That's it.